Hi everybody and welcome to a reading for Gemini. I did a quick shuffle before we started and this is what popped out and this was the first card. <clears throat> You've had enough I think of um, having to speak your truth to others. You just want to now act. You just want to get on with the show. You don't want to have to prove yourself to anybody anymore. You don't want to have to explain yourself anymore. Um, you've now deciding what you want to do. You've waited long enough for this. And you've really weighed up a heap of options. You've now decided to pull yourself out of this, what feels like a stuck place. And, and come up with the inspiration, the idea to get moving. But you, you, you've had enough of listening to other people's opinions on it. And trying to please other people in this scenario, it's for sure. Uh, you could have to work with other people in this, and this is what's dragging you down a little bit, or you just want everybody to be on the same page. But I think it's literally going to take you to get up and get going with whatever this plan is to show everybody else literally by example um, of what you can achieve instead of uh, explaining it to start with. All right, Gemini. You're certainly feeling like your energies are off at the moment. By focusing on all the stuff, all the things that are getting you down, all the things in your environment that are draining your energy, it, it's, it's got you in a place where you feel like you can't do your usual manifestation. Mercury based sign rule, you know, the magician basically is what your your card. You have the ability to whatever you think to bring down from the universe and manifest here. And I think the more that you're focusing on things that have hurt you and upset you, the more that's manifesting in your life. So you've decided, right, I've had enough of all this drama. I now need a new life. I've done this. Okay, I've been I've been through this probably seven times, <laughs> the same scenario, you know. So let's see where you're moving to. Massive decision, massive movement. Don't go asking everybody if you think if they think it's a good idea at the moment, you know. Um, get that incredible analytical mind of yours working on a plan for yourself yes your own abundance your own happiness too i mean i always this is a financial card yes but she's looking pretty darn happy isn't she everything around her is just of beauty and she's done it herself well we assume she's done it herself she looks pretty comfortable in her environment beautiful clothes and stuff like that so yeah because once you've actually stopped once you actually get realize and you're going through the process of that that you're leaving all this stuff in the past and most of it's probably from old stories that you're playing over and over in your head and you're sick of the searing the same story over in your head I think too so you're coming up with a plan, okay? So your plan is to get your finances stable and you want to be happy, okay? You want to be very happy. But what it's going to really take is um, keeping a lid on your emotions, keeping your thoughts to yourself at the moment. Um, realise that your heart is the most precious thing, that your emotions matter, but now it's not the time to expect others to understand where you're coming from because especially if you're changing things up, it might be time to stay quiet. You know, so the Queen of Swords, I suppose she is quiet, but it's now time to stay quiet on it. Not to hurt anybody, not to do, and not in a malicious way. It's just to pull yourself back into yourself and... When you think of, catch yourself, if you catch yourself thinking of things that have upset you in the past, 
it's now time to change that up because whatever you're thinking, you're manifesting at this time. Credible manifester. Yeah. A lot of focus on worldly emotions. So your head's down. You're looking at, you're feeling down. The way to move forward is to start to look up. It can be extremely difficult when you've been here for a long time. But the happiness, the insp you know, the joy that's awaiting you comes from you choosing it. Each day, choose happier thoughts over thoughts of the past. Each day, choose where you're going, not where you've been. Each day, do it with a naivety, like it's the first day you've had. Be grateful for the sun on your back and company of animals. Could be dealing with a earth sign that is showing negative polarity, but while you've been focusing on all the problems and hurts and things of the past, what you've been manifesting is lack of stability. A lack of finances. A lack of abundance. So, this month, you're choosing to lighten the load. And leave the cups where they stand. <laughs> You've thought about that for long enough. You've spent a long, enough time thinking about that. Now you need to think about what you're actually, whatever you're thinking, you're manifesting in this world. Choose this. Of all the cups, choose stability and happiness and a feeling of achievement by yourself. As in, you, you can be with somebody else, but the more they focus on the things of the past, the more it's keeping you stuck. And if you're stuck, you can't be the best in a relationship. You know what I mean? Well, I really hope that helped, Gemini. I love you all and bye for now.